Breaking news. This is happening now in Clayton County in Jonesboro. We have reports of a shooting near the campus of a high school. It is Mount Zion High School. One is dead and the Clayton County School District now is working this incident. This is a school that is 9 uh, through 12 and it was formed in 1990. Again, it's in Jonesboro and we want to get an update what right now. What we have here is we have an investigation that's going on. Uh, we had a graduation earlier at the Performing Arts Center for the Perry Learning Center. And what, what is that, the Perry Learning Center? Well, the Perry Learning Center is a center that um, some of our students, you know, who are seeking alternative means of ascertaining their uh, graduation or their education uh, is where they attend school. Gotcha. Uh, what do we know about the shooting? Well, we don't know a lot right now. We're still working the crime scene, but what was reported is as follows. Uh, we had, um, it was at the conclusion of the, the graduation itself, and we had parties who were leaving, and they came over to the Overflow parking lot, which is here at Mount Zion High School. And uh, again, it was reported that an argument broke out, which led to uh, two individuals being shot. What do we know about the, sh is there a, is the shooter, what do we know about the shooter? Are they in custody? Well, we don't know very much. Again, we're still working the investigation, so I personally cannot tell you very much at this time. Uh, we have solicited and, and asked Clayton County Police Department to come in and assist us with this. So we have their crime scene investigation team, as well as their criminal investigation team conducting the investigation as we speak. Okay. What were the injuries? Um, there were gunshot injuries to two. Um, the um, status of those individuals are unknown at this time. I've been here at the scene, so I can't report uh, the injuries, but they were transported to the hospital. Chief, whenever, because we had a, a shooting earlier today, yes, uh, that's already on everyone's mind. Mm -hmm. When you got the call of a shooting on school property, what was going through your mind? Um, it was not very good. It wasn't pleasant. I was uh, pretty emotional because the last thing you want to do is have a situation at a graduation that results in anyone being injured and definitely not being shot. And this was a graduation ceremony. The ceremony was basically over? The ceremony was, was over at that time, yes, sir. And, and uh, this, there was a fight? No, I didn't, I, oh, I didn't sorry, say anything sorry, about sorry, a fight. Right, sorry. Um, there was an argument, and that's all we know now. It's a fluid investigation. They're still working the investigation. If you look over my right shoulder, you will see the crime scene technicians and the investigators still gathering evidence and talking to witnesses. So that's where we are right now. And you can't confirm they're still looking for one suspect? I can't confirm how many suspects they're looking for, but they are actively pursuing anyone who might have any information or be involved in this incident. No one's been arrested? Not at this time. Not that I know of. Again, I'm here on the scene and we have many officers out doing different functions attempting to uh, saw this this matter. Do you know if students were involved in this? And whether a student was a shooter or a student was the person hurt? I'm not really familiar at this time. We're still gathering the names and the information. Chief, could you go through the rundown again? The time this happened and what was happening here? Was it here at this building or the other building? Well, it was here in the parking lot. This is an overflow parking lot, as I stated a few moments ago. The graduation had concluded and some parties gathered, an argument ensued, and that led to gunshots being fired. And two, injured, two individuals were injured. And do we know at this point uh, how many people are in custody? Uh, no, I don't have that information. We're working the scene okay. um, as we speak. Because we saw someone in handcuffs. Well, we have individuals when you're not sure of what an individual's involvement is, that's just a standard practice to just secure everyone until we can kind of sort things out. Whose graduation was this? Was this Mount Zion High School? No, ma'am. This is the Perry Center's, the Perry Learning Center graduation. Yes, ma'am. And can you tell me, sir, I mean, it's, uh, if you could just reiterate, this is frightening. It's heartbreaking today. For, this is supposed to be a time of celebration and this is time. Well, absolutely. You know, anytime you have gunfire, whether it's at a graduation, whether it's on a school campus, or if, if it's in a residential area, um, it's devastating. It's devastating to the community. Uh, to anybody who's around and affiliated with it. This isn't something that, that we, we want to happen in any community.